Don't ever let anyone tell you that you need talent or hard work to be successful in life. The Dobre brothers are living proof that neither of those things are required. It's been a little while since we've looked at the Dobre brothers, so let's go ahead and bring them in here for their checkup at Dr. Charlie's office, squeeze their balls, and ask them to cough. Today we'll be watching another thrilling adventure with these four exciting brothers as they explore a $38 million mansion and decide whether or not they want to buy it and live there. What's up guys, we're back for another video. And today, um, we might potentially buy a new house. Not just a new house, a very beautiful, big, and brand new house. I love the way that Cyrus there on the far left looks. Everyone else is dressed relatively normal, and then Cyrus comes out here looking like a Kingdom Hearts character. Everyone else is dressed relatively normal, but then he comes out here looking like Count Dracula. It's like he just heard Black Veil Brides for the first time and is going through a phase now. You have to almost appreciate the shamelessness when it comes to this family's ability to flex their wealth on everyone watching. They just rub their wealth in the face of all their viewers, and their viewers fucking love it. They just eat that shit up like milk and cereal. They just absolutely can't get enough of these Dobre brothers flexing on them. They have $37.9 million mansion in the title, so you know exactly how expensive it is. And then they kind of talk down to you like... It's not just a new house, it's a brand new house and a big house. Unlike that shit you're familiar with, you plebeians watching this living in your little fucking meth laboratory crack shacks and whatever, it's nothing like that. You probably can't even picture the kind of house we're about to see, nor the money that's about to go into this. Hi, Marcus. Stefan. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Cyrus. Alright, Stefan. Good to meet you. I'm Darius. Hi, Lucas. Nice, nice to meet you. Guys. Come on in. Thanks for having so, us. So, first off, uh, excuse the mess. They are doing a bit of a, they're, they're, they're changing up the top floor window. No, Stefan, I will not excuse the mess. This place is a filthy fucking pigsty. It's a swamp. I thought this was supposed to be Beverly Hills, not Dagobah. What the fuck have you even brought the Dobre brothers into? $38 million and you present this decrepit cesspool of disease and grime? Have you lost your mind, Stefan? This is an inexcusable disaster. Unbelievable. I, I feel insulted even looking at this. $37.9 million. My dirty little asshole it is looking like this. Good lord. Um, so real quick, the specs are 12,000 square feet interior, but another 10,000 of exterior space with a decking. So when everything's opened up, it does, it feels like a 20,000 square foot house plus. I'm not the Dobre Brothers real estate manager, I'm no expert when it comes to real estate, but I'm just going to tell you, Dobre Brothers, 20,000 square feet, that's not nearly enough to contain your egos. You might want to just pass on this one right away. It is way too small for you boys. What are you, you, what are you trying to, you're trying to live in a little porta potty here? Only 20,000 square feet? Are, you've got to be kidding me. You've got to be, this is outrageous and it's even embarrassing to watch you guys even pretend to be interested in this little piece of shit. Is that a real dinosaur? Yeah, Allosaurus Rex, 150 million years old. Oh, Not included with the house, it's an extra 1.5 for that. I couldn't even imagine being so rich that a house that I'm looking at has an actual fucking dinosaur fossil propped up in the living room. That's like some supervillain lair shit. That's Dr. Evil shit right there. You can see all of the lake through here. Yo, we can set up like a... Foam pit and just jump off from there, make some crazy videos, you know? Yeah. Whoa, whoa, calm down there, Cyrus. That's a little too wild and wacky. I, a foam pit and jumping into it? Are you kidding me? Bro, that's like illegal. That's like, that's too insane. You are too wacko mode. Like, are you, you've got to be crazy. You have to be clinically insane. Like, you actually need to be thrown in Arkham Asylum. That is one of the most insane things I've ever heard in my entire fucking life. That is actually alarmingly crazy. You can park your car in the living room? Yeah. That's cool. Oh Take your signature piece, piece and put it right here. Yeah, yeah, but why, Stefan? Why would I want to park my car in my living room? Unless I'm trying to kill the whole family with carbon monoxide poisoning or something, what could possibly be the point of parking a car in a living room? Maybe I just don't understand high rolling, but that just seems dumb. Multiple fire pits, one there, one here, one off the master. Two more for the guests, which we'll show you in a second. Crazy man, this is like, you got a view of everything right now. I can't be the only one that thinks this pool looks terrible. It's more like a glorified slip and slide. It's just really long. But just look at the width, it's only like three feet across. It looks like a water ruler. There is absolutely no way you can jump into this thing, dive into this thing. All you could possibly do with this little pathetic excuse for a pool is swim laps from end to end claustrophobically. There's absolutely no wiggle room for any type of actual fun pool activities. You could only swim from end to end and it'd be like the walls closing in around you because there's absolutely no space on the sides here. There is no width. 
Yeah, it's like your own dealership, yeah. you know? And and when like when you drive up, you can see the cars through your windows here, which is nice. This will be good for our Cars channel too. Big shouting out to the Cars channel, really smooth and suave. I mean, hey, look at that showroom right there. You could have a million cars in there, 15,000 naked women. Like, it's got everything you could want, and at only a modest price of $37.9 million. I mean, it's a steal. They're fucking giving the house away. This is the closet? Yeah. Yeah. Yo, this is the best closet I've ever seen in my life. And you guys got it. You know, sometimes you put something on and with, with the fluorescent lighting or whatever, it doesn't quite show as well. Yeah, that closet is huge. It's absolutely massive. It looks like the inside of a bank vault. It reminds me of that scene in Men in Black 2 when they go to the apartment and you see all the futuristic weaponry in like a whole separate room. That's how futuristic and massive this room looks. Don't know what you need all that space for, but god damn it, it's, it's there. I like it's it. It's nice. This is crazy. Yeah. It's like a hotel. Yeah. Yeah. Last leave elevator wins $10,000. Yeah. <laughs> That's a door brother's challenge. 24 hours overnight in an elevator. <laughs> Calm the fuck down, Cyrus. These ideas are too lit. Someone else that can afford a $38 million mansion with an elevator inside of it is gonna steal them. You can't just give away the Krabby Patty secret formula. I, I can't believe he's just giving away this gold, this genius. Spending 24 hours in an elevator, has it has it ever been done before? Can it even be done? Does the science even allow such a thing to happen? Like, it's fucking crazy. Last to leave the elevator wins $10,000? Like, that could even go longer than 24 hours. Like, holy shit. This man is an actual genius, a pioneer, a visionary. I can see who the mastermind is behind the Dobre classics, like making slime in a bathtub. Like, damn, this guy has got some banging ideas. All right, you guys ready for the coolest feature? Yeah. Check out this hidden wall. No. Would have been a wild twist if there was just a bunch of fucking bodies on meat hooks in there or something. Just like body parts tumble out of the fake wall when Stefan opens it. You punch in your coat. <laughs> and it's a full on safe room. I feel like Iron Man right now, bro. What you doing where you lock your brother in? Yeah. Let me out! Stefan, are you serious right now? Tossing ideas to the Dobre brothers? What? You want to be a Dobre brother that badly? You want to be the fifth Dobre? And that's the kind of idea you're bringing to the plate? That's what you're coming up here with? That's your fire? It's fucking genius! Oh, can you believe it? Trapping a brother in the safe room? That's a, that's a fucking banger, Stefan. You might want to just give up real estate and join the Dobre brothers full time. Like, that's that right there, that would pop off. Yeah, it's a home. It's a private club. The doors are actually motion censored by my hand. Anytime. What know. was the listing price? Uh, 37950 dollars right. Cool. Cool. We'll take a look at our options. And there you have it. We may see Dobre Brothers move into this thing. I don't know. It, it seems like a little bit of modest living for them. I think it's a bit beneath them. And it's only $37.9 million. So they're really just trying to be a bit frugal with their spending. Which I think that, that's a good example to set for their young audience. Like, hey, it's not always about the money. Sometimes it's about the character of a house. You know, because they could easily afford like a, a one billion dollar house even. They could live on the fucking space station if the Dobre brothers wanted to. Like there's there's nowhere they can't live and they're choosing this. That's it's almost inspirational to be honest. And it, what what a piece of shit, right? Like that house looked terrible. I mean, that's, that's a gross looking house, you know. I wouldn't want to spend 38 million dollars on that. I mean, that's garbage. That's a bunch of garbage. Uh, that's about it. So yeah.